Hello guys, my name is Rick Utzer with airgunweb.com. We tell you the facts, not fluff. Today we're going to take a look at the Hotson Hercules, and for that, I brought my buddy Cecil Bay. Cecil, how you doing? I'm doing great today. Now, you have been shooting the dickens out of this gun, right? This is end all be all my favorite big board right now. That is... There awesome. we go. And uh, you've shot a bunch. I mean, we've got a hundred some guns in the shop that we go through and uh, I'm thinking if you had to grab one and go and you had to either plink and have fun or put food on the table, this is... This would be my choice right here, definitely. <laughs> well, that says a lot and we're gonna talk about why this gun is so great. We'll be right back, stay with us. Okay, Cecil, now I've shot this a little bit, but you've shot this a lot. A lot, yes. Tell me some of the features that you would want to tell somebody. If they're on the fence, they say, oh, it's too heavy or it's too big or too... Those are the comments we get, right? Right. Well, tell me why none of that matters. <laughs> number one, shot count. Okay. Um, you're getting almost 100 foot-pounds of energy at 40 shots at that. Yeah, okay. You know, so almost 40 shots at, or 40 shots at almost 100 foot-pounds Okay. Of um, you've got the accuracy and consistency of those shots. Right. So we've got accuracy, consistency, and we've got energy. And all of that comes in this package that happens to be heavy. Yes. No big deal. Get right. over it. Exactly. Well, and you're only spending $1,300 about for this. Yeah. And Com compared to the next comparable um, air rifle is... Probably 2,000 or more. Exactly, okay. yeah. So here's why you're looking at a gun that is this big and this heavy. And I'm going to talk about that. I'm not going to dodge that fact, okay? Right. It's got dual air tanks. So you've got dual 500 cc tanks. It's 1,000 cc's of air. Yes, it is. So if you're going to fill this gun, personally, I think a hand pump is really not a great option. You, you want a carbon fiber tank. Yeah. Just you do. Well, and the fill pressure, 250 bar. Yeah, and that's something that's probably like, what is that, almost... Almost 4,000 PSI is getting, like getting up 30. There. Yeah, it's really up there. So when you're talking about 250 bar, that's a lot of pressure. You don't want to be pumping that with a hand pump. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get a gun like this, you definitely just plan on getting the carbon fiber tank because that's what you need to fill it. And the small ones aren't going to cut it. No. You need the big tank because these are big bottles. It takes a lot of air to fill it. Yeah, the small ones, you may get two fills off of Two top-offs, maybe. Yeah, two top-offs, but that's that's about it. All right, some of the other features, obviously we've got the pistol grip stock. Yes. We've got the fully adjustable butt stock here. It extends out and up and down. Mm -hmm. We've got, you know, inserts. You can change these out, which is, I think, pretty cool. Yeah, I really like how you can change out that insert for the cheek riser there. That's really neat. I like the cocking system. This side lever action is really nice. You get a lot of leverage on it. As you've used it, I've noticed that it's smoothed out yes, quite it a has. bit. It's got it easier to cock. It does have an automatic safety, but as you cock it, it's right there. It's really become second nature. No big deal there. Yeah, it's something, like you said, you get used to it and you learn, and it just, it, I flip off the safety without even knowing it now. Now, this is the 30 cal. It comes with a 10-shot magazine. Yeah. So that's a lot of shots in a rotary magazine. Exactly. Got a the dual rail that's typical with a hot sawn, higher-end gun. You can do 11-millimeter mounts. Like If you like, really like the BKL mounts, mm -hmm. you can use those mounts, or you can use the Picatinny rail. Now, I've got a Hawk scope on this. This is a Sidewinder 3 to 12. Just a really good scope. And yeah. you have a really nice reticle. It gives you lots of mill dots. We set this up to shoot long range. You guys are probably going to see this little white paper sticking out here. What we did is we elevated the rear of the scope. So that gives us more, uh, more minute of angle adjustment for the long range shooting. We have more adjustment there. Exactly. Other features, uh, you've got the Picatinny rail up front for mounting a bipod. And you have a shrouded barrel. It has a quiet energy shroud. People ask me, how quiet is it? I'm not going to shoot it in my front yard. No. But in the field, it's way quieter than a firearm. And it's way quieter than an unshrouded big bore air gun. So 30 cal. A couple different types of ammo out there. Yes. It's kind of limited, but there are a few options. Right. Good options. They all shoot pretty well. Yes. You've got the JSB 4475s. Yep. You've got the JSB 50 point something or other. And then you've got the Vortex 30 cals, which are 4475. They're 
pretty much identical to the to the JSB pellets. Yep. And you've also got the poly mags in 30 cal. Now we've tried the poly mags. They're just too long for the magazine. Just a, just a hair, like a millimeter too long. So really what we're looking at for good pellet options, good ammo options, are gonna be the 4475 JSBs and the 50.1 something or other uh, heavy JSB 30 cals or the 30 cal vortex. Today, what we're gonna do is actually crony both of these pellet options to give you guys a baseline of what kind of energy you're gonna get with either one. We're gonna do some close range target shooting to just get a baseline for accuracy with, for each one. And then we're gonna go down to the long range area and see what we can get. Yeah, go ahead and stretch it out. So first thing I wanna show you guys how to do though is how to fill this gun. I've got my new Air Venturi tank. This is the big tank. They just recently released this. This is you know, <clears throat> a fairly large, it's like 90 plus cubic foot or in that range. It's a pretty big tank. So uh, you wanna go ahead and cock that. Okay, so with the gun open, you simply put your probe in it. Now, you've got a fill gauge right here. We're pretty much full, but we're just going to top it off here. Let's crack it. And that's it. Okay. So that's all topped off, ready to go. Now, from a full fill, you're say you're getting some 40 shots? 40 shots, yeah. Okay, so 40, that's... 40 consistent shots before you start to kind of drop off the curve. You get more shots than that, though. You can yeah. get more shots, but you will see a, a drop in your point of impact. So if you don't mind, I'll go ahead and load this thing up here, Cecil, yeah, we'll show folks how to do it. So you open the, the latch, you pull it out. You want it to start with the heavies. Start with the heavy stuff. So. Yeah, let's start with the heavies because you've right. been shooting the... Yeah, we well, have been shooting the 4475s quite a bit. All right, so these are the heavies. And just so we know for sure, the weight is... I was right, 50.1 something. 50.15. Okay. There you go. So you got a 10-shot mag. There's a, a couple O-rings in here that holds your pellets in place. Just run these through here. Okay. It goes right back in there, right? Yep. It's not dissimilar from the other hot on like the Galatians. The Galatians, or even the AT44s. You load them the same; they have the same kind of appearance. Yeah. Um, one thing that you will notice is that it sits out a little bit further because of the bigger pellets and everything. Good. Um, but and other than that, what I like to do is rotate it. Make sure you get that click sound mm -hmm. before you try and shut the shut the bolt. Yes. Or the cocking arm. Now you're good to go. This gun's ready to roll. It is on safe. So you'd flip it to fire and shoot. So now, crony time. Yes. We'll be right back. We're gonna get the crony set up. Stay with us. Nine fifty-five. So from 955 to 981 is not a big spread. No, it's not. And what'd you would you bottom out with for energy 955? 101.6. Over 100 foot pounds. Yeah. Uh, so that 10 shots at over 100 foot pounds in 30 caliber. In 30 caliber. All right. These are the 4475s. Here we go. The 957. So 87 to 57 is 30 foot per second. 30. Yeah. It's another another 10 shots. That's really, really consistent. And it is. Again, when you're talking about big bore consistency, that is very consistent. And that's why you're getting 40 clean shots at 75, 100 yards, because the change in your point of impact at that velocity with these pellets is really negligible. Exactly. You shoot the lighter pellets, you're in that good 90 foot pound area. You shoot the heavy pellets and you're over 100 foot pounds. So yeah. we know that now. Now we're gonna see how they shoot for accuracy. Stay with us, we'll be right back. All right, Cecil, it's about right that we go to shoot the wind picks up. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> well, that's why I'm letting you shoot. Exactly. Yes, this is with the 50.15 grain. Okay, go for it.
Okay, well, we'll go grab that target and take a look at it, and then yeah. we'll switch out for the light pellet. Yep. All right, Cecil, so you've got five shots now, the light pellets. Yeah, the four, four, seven, fives. All right, well, as light as light gets right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that, uh, that'll do. That'll do it, yes. All right, let's take a look at those targets. We'll be right back. We're gonna go grab those targets and uh, do a little comparison. Yeah. All right, we've got a couple targets here, Cecil. Yes, we do. This is the light pellet. Yes, the 4475. And that is the heavy. This is the heavy, yes. And that surprises me. I know, I was really expecting the heavier pellet to, to group at least as well Yeah. as the, the lighter one, but... Um, that's not the result that we got. Not at all. Doesn't mean it's a bad pellet. I mean, no. other than the flyer, it still was well within the kill zone at that range. Yes, and that's at right about 40 yards, yeah, just under 37, 40 yards. 40 yards, yeah, yeah, right there. Um, I know you've shot the lights mostly, and that's even at long range, that's what's always given you the best accuracy. It, it has. So I think we should give that a shot down at the long range range and see what we can get. Maybe we'll try a couple of heavies, but realistically, if you're gonna use this gun, it looks like the light pellet is going to be the way to go. Yes. All right. Well, let's go get set up down there. I know this is a long review. Thank you guys for sticking with us, but it's a great gun. Let's give it the all the time it deserves. Ready? Yeah, let's get this done. We'll be right back. Well, Cecil, it's time to wrap this up. Yes, it is. Uh, we got to shoot long range. Yes, we did, and okay. we did it well. <laughs> I can't tell you how impressed I am with this gun. I have been wanting to shoot down here long range for the longest time. We actually got special permission from Lake Havasu City Sportsman's Club to come use a 300-yard range, which is technically a center fire only. But when I told them what we were trying to do, of course, they said, air guns, 200, 300 yards, you got to be kidding me. I said, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. And this gun is unbelievably consistent. We're shooting half-scale CMP silhouettes, which is like what you'd use in the lasso competition. And we set up to 200 yards just to see what we could do. We went from 75, 100, 150, and 200, right? Yep. And uh, yeah, you can run the course, just one shot, each target. You don't need multiple shots because it is that good. Right, and both of us did. Yeah, I mean, it just sat down and we used chair gun with the hawk scope, with the reticle. Yep. Uh, we have all our data in there. It tells you exactly where to aim, and it was absolutely on the money. Yes, it was. It was. I, I mean, it was really impressive. 
Uh, I can see why you like this gun so much, man. It's just awesome. It consistency is undervalued in the market. <laughs> what was also cool, and you brought this up when we were talking after, was that we didn't have to top it off after each time. I mean, you sat down yeah. and shot it. I sat down and shot it. We're running off the same fill. It doesn't matter. You just go shoot it. Yeah, it isn't like you top it off, get five shots, then you have to top it off again. No. No, you get consistent for 40 shots. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. Guys, this gun is awesome. I understand it may not be for everybody. Well, that's just the way things go. But mm -hmm. if you want a powerful gun with a lot of shots in incredible range and accuracy, this is the one. For an air gun, it's unbelievable. I love it. Yes, <laughs> this is definitely, <laughs> definitely my favorite big bore air gun right now. All right, guys, I want to thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring this review. Of course, Hot Sun USA for providing the Hercules for this review. And Hawk Optics for setting us up with the, the great scope and the binoculars and other gear they gave us. Um, I see, so I guess that's about it. Yeah, that, you know, we could talk great things about this gun all day long, but. <laughs> that's, yeah, let's wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> My name I want to shoot some more. Yeah, all right. My name is Rick Euster with Aragon Web. And I'm Cecil Bay's Airgun Scout. Remember, when you're looking for real-world airgun reviews, think Airgun Web. We tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.